Hi, welcome to The Gainsplainer. I'm Jeff The Gainsplainer and today I'm Gainsplaining Men at Work. So it's been a year since I did my original videos for Men at Work. So what do I think of it? Do I still like it? Have I even played it? Well, good news is I've played this about four times. Even better news, the last time it got played, it got played a couple of times at the table right on the back of itself. I really enjoy this game, but I mean, I'm a, I'm a sucker for dexterity games. Let's be honest about it. Any game where you're building stuff and using your hands to manipulate something, it sits right in my wheelhouse as a really good thing. This is by Pretzel Games, who also did Junk Art. Now, I find that Junk Art and Men at Work are really similar games in the, in the way that you're building, but you're using vastly different materials. So on this one, you're looking at cards that tell you to place a person on top of the beam or you're placing the beam but if you're placing people sometimes you'll have to place them with bricks on their shoulders or with bits of wood on their shoulders and getting that balance of get the stuff on there and get the guy over there without dropping the stuff and put him onto the spot can be really tough what i find with this one however is generally what happens is everything kind of gets built flat rather than built in random so there's a little bit more randomness that goes on with junk art than goes on with this, but the little bit, a little bit off straight is hard to get these guys to stay up on, and there's a there's a real kind of finicky challenge on this. Uh, if I'm playing with four players, I'll probably go to this one. If I'm playing with more than four, I'll go to junk art. The and I find that the the count of player is actually a really important thing for each of the games and changes how you come at each game. There is enough going on to make this enjoyable. There's a little enough going on to make it able to be played with younger players, but there's enough going on for older players to enjoy themselves as well. The only people I've come across who didn't like this game are people who just generally don't like the um, dexterity games. And that's totally fair. If you're not a dexterity game fan, or if you don't do dexterity well, then you probably aren't going to enjoy this one. But if you're someone who does like dexterity, then you probably will enjoy this one. Look, go ahead and watch my Games Playing Gamesplanation from a year ago and see what the game is about. If you would like it, if you wouldn't like it, please comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any games that you would like to be games playing, please shoot me an email to thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Games Planner to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.